Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we go. Thank you for listening to another edition of the Vulcan Report. I've uh, been away for uh, for a while, uh, quite busy, um, doing a lot of things, doing a lot of preparation for some upcoming videos, and got a lot to talk to you about. But I wanted to make this quick video just to uh, give you some perspective on what you can expect. Uh, right now you're looking at this chart here of the Dow and as you can see when we had that big sell-off back on May the 6th what that was doing was buying some more time so that uh, the market can decide what it needs to do so you have a thousand point trading range which we're gonna oscillate up and down up and down not breaking out not breaking below just up and down no, I don't expect any closes below or above this um, this inflection point here at all. So this could go on for weeks before we get any type of uh, perspective on the markets. Uh, another thing to keep uh, keep ahead on is that um, the powers that be can drive the markets anywhere they want. Um, there's nothing out of the card saying that the Dow can't hit 15,000. The Dow could very well hit 15,000 before uh, we see another collapse. It's just how it is. Uh, we, we trade the markets. You know, we like to make uh, predictions and give our opinions and things like that. But, however, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is making money. So I just want to keep that in mind as we go forward. Uh, I want to also look at oil real quick. Pretty much the same picture, but with a different perspective. Here again was May 6th uh, parabolic bar, but this oil has been just collapsing ever since, just just falling. Okay, this uh, this is the uh, OIH ticker symbol. That's the one I like to use when I'm tracking uh, crude oil and crude oil futures. So, as you can see, this one has just been just collapsing, and you know oil moves with the stock market. So, if this is where crude oil is. And then I showed you that this is where the Dow is currently at. Where do you think that the Dow should be headed? Back down here, right? Because they move together. All right, let's take a look at um, the U.S. dollar, ticker symbol uh, UUP. As you can see, this one has strengthened up a little bit uh, at this, uh, this 25, uh, 34 level, bumping up against the short-term resistance level of 2554 so this one's consolidated too up within the bullish resistance zone we expect that they can keep this up uh, indefinitely looks like it's ready for pullback don't know how much pullback we're going to get but we know it's due for it's due for a, a nice one here the longer we stay consolidated in these markets the greater the breakout or breakdowns are going to be taking a look at bonds now or symbol TLT nice upward momentum trying to get up to par trying to close it par we'll see if we can close it par um, nice range established though uh, short term support is going to stay at 93.78 short term resistance is going to stay at, stay at par I don't suspect we'll get a close above par anytime soon but you never know we'll just have to watch and see um, Moving on now to uh, to to gold. Um, gold's been waffling around too. Uh, nice pullback here. Now we're rallying a little bit. Uh, I would anticipate that it's going to try to test this 122 level and put in a new um, a new leg up. So we'll have to wait and see. We also could have a head and shoulders type of a pattern. And prices could collapse back down to 104. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, looking at silver, pretty much uh, the same thing, except for it's showing that it's a little bit weaker. Look at the, look at this top and then the top here. So this one's looking like it wants to uh, consolidate for another probably couple of weeks, probably to the end of June, and still do nothing. So we'll have to watch that one and see also. Looking at your commodities, uh, this right here is the meats, ticker symbol MOO. Nice breakdown, bouncing off support lows and just consolidating, nothing to really write home about or talk about. 
Same thing with your grains, uh, ticker symbol JJG. So for this one, collapse some more. So this one's already starting to head south. So that would suggest that uh, we should see cheap prices at the grocery store for corn, wheat, and soybeans. Not. Uh, this has nothing to do with the prices we pay at the store. So I can say that uh, fundamentals have been dislodged from the stock market as a whole. And that's just how it is. And I don't suspect that will change anytime soon. Um, so, anyway, um, keep your eyes open for upcoming videos. Uh, we have some pretty amazing series coming out. And uh, I also keep you abreast of any uh, entry points and uh, any new trades that we put on. So, until then, be encouraged.